Joseph W. Brady updates the Shops at Spanish Trail project from the project site in Barstow, California. Good afternoon. My name is Joseph Brady. I'm the president of the Brad Co. Companies in Victorville, California. Uh, we are the longest standing full service commercial industrial land brokerage company servicing the entire high desert region. We now call it the Mojave River Valley. We include in our 3,000 square miles the cities of Atlanta, Apple Valley, Barstow, Hesperia, and Victorville. Our, our, our territory also includes about 475,000 people. I stand here today, though, as the managing member of Barstow Spanish Trails LLC, uh, proud to be a, a, a member of the, develop, of, of the development community out here in the great city of Barstow. Well, Barstow is a small city of 23,000. Uh, it, it's going to be, I, I think the, the city's going to see some very explosive growth in the next five to ten years. What's finally happening after years of waiting, uh, the Inland Empire is now nearing, nearing its build out and probably three or four years away from having no land left for industrial development. Out here in Barstow, Malcolm Riley, a renowned developer, uh, former chairman of the International Council Shopping Centers in 1991, and I teamed up well over 10, 10 years ago and worked directly with the city of Barstow City Council, its city manager at the time, Kurt Mitchell, who has since retired and just a great friend of the development community. And, and his entire team of people, including Brad Merrill, now Chris Heldreth, and, and their great staff, to put together what's called the specific plan for the Shops of Spanish Trails. The Shops of Spanish Trails is, is a bunch of different parcels that have been put together. Uh, two of them came with a merger of property from the Bureau of Land Management and a trade to the State of California State Lands Commission. That's the property that we currently have under contract and for development. The entire specific plan, though, is substantially larger, about twice its size. It's, it's approved for 112.4 acres of property, which includes both sides of Avenue L, from the off-ramp and on-ramps of Interstate 15, which has about 87,000 cars a day going north and south, uh, all the way down to Avenue L and jumps across Avenue L to an eight-acre parcel that's owned by the city. Uh, back in 2011, between 2011 and 2012, with the help of Mark Giles of DLR, a nationally well-known architectural firm and actually a well-known architect himself, we worked very closely with the city of Barstow, its staff at the time, its economic development manager, and with Mal's help and with the help of Brad Merrill, the consulting city engineer for Barstow, we put together what was called the Shops of Spanish Trails. The, the, the reason that the Shops of Spanish Trails came about is the Spanish Trail, which originated down in Mexico and worked its way through Utah and, and into California, came very close to the site. So with the insistence of city staff, and, and our marketing people, the Shops of Spanish Trail became a reality. Uh, the City Council, with their great purview and, and, and leadership, approved a specific plan, the Shops of Spanish Trails, on December 13th of 2013, which included 112.4 acres, of which we are purchasing 63 acres from the state of California, and we net approximately 50.4 three eight acres at the end of right-of-way taking, easement dedication, roads, uh, some some floodways, etc. Um, I'm standing right in front of Home Depot, uh, one of their smaller stores, about 120,000 square feet, does about $24 million a year in sales. And right behind me is a 6.4 acre parcel, which we've recently had relayed out again, where we could put four fast food pads, or we could do some inline buildings, uh, you know, gas stations and, and things like that. This property here is priced at $17 a square foot. Directly adjacent and across the driveway that comes into Home Depot, which will become ultimately a, a, a public street, we have 13.07 acres of property. That property is available at $9 a square foot. And we're working with a developer right now that may have a grocery store that wants to go in there. Directly across the street, we have 30.58 net acres. So the, the property is actually about 45 acres. But when you, again, remove all the easements and the right-of-way dedications, we end up with a ALTA, ALTA survey of 30.58 acres. We are currently uh, under contract with a national gas station developer who will be purchasing 2.7 acres. Uh, they'll have a roughly a 6,000 square foot convenience store, multiple gas pumps in, in the front, 
uh, four gas pumps in the back for, for trucks. And, and it, because I can't announce who they are, I can just say they'll be a great addition to not only Barstow, but to the high desert region. They're very committed. They're coming in here from, from out of state. They have probably 15 development deals in the state of California under contract, and they're gonna be a great addition. So where are we today on April 4th of 2022? Um, we are doing, doing our first major mailing to International Council of Shopping Center members in Southern California, fellow brokers that, that we deal with and, and developers to see who's interested in purchasing the 6.48 acres, the 13.07, or the 30.58 acres. Working directly with Craig Johnson and Brad Merrill, uh, principals of, of Merrill Johnson Engineering. Uh, Brad, again, is a consulting city engineer with Barstow, but under an agreement with, with Barstow, uh, they're able to do a master parcel map and tentative map for the 30.58 acres, allowing for us to look at circulation through that site to be able to sell parcels off once we record that parcel map and we close. We're also working with a gentleman by the name of Tom Oatman. Uh, Tom is in the right-of-way department with, with Caltrans, State of California Department of Transportation. And while not everybody likes dealing with Caltrans, they're, they're a very large state agency and can be you know, a little tough to deal with. I want to say one thing. Tom, you are absolutely the epitome of one of the best public servants I have ever dealt with. Uh, I can see why Brad Merrill talks so highly about you. Uh, I promise you that, that no matter who breaks ground ultimately to, to, to build out one of these three corners, you will be there whether you're in, in retirement or not. Tom's been a, a great help in trying to help us remove some of the easements that were here back when this was a flyover before Avenue Well was put in back in 2000. And they absolutely redid the entire interchange. So we're working on new, new wording on this specific plan. The city's been great to, to work with. We have a brand new city manager by the name of Willie Hopkins Jr. Willie came from Alameda County. He's been down here just about a year. Our, our mayor, Paul Courtney, and, and, and his council are very supportive of what we're doing. So what the city's trying to do is they're trying to make it a little bit easier than it was before. We had a, a very extensive development disposition agreement. It was probably 40 pages long. And the city, through its wisdom, and I think really through the help of Chris Heldreth and, and, and Cody and, and Brad and, and Willie and, 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 and even Jim Hart, who is their interim city manager, decided that we didn't need that, that big of a document to really talk about what the expectations are of Barstow and why people are going to want to be at the Shops of Spanish Trails. So in summary, I've been in the high desert now for 36 years doing business. I took my first trip over here on September 21st of 1986 when I was Vice President of Development for Pegasus Development. I moved over on Friday, May 13th, 1988. Shortly thereafter, met my great wife, Debbie. Uh, we've been together since Halloween of that year, and this is a dream for both of us. What is a dream about? To ensure that we can bring what we believe is a thousand jobs to Barstow and a large amount of sales tax dollars and also property taxes that benefit the city and the county to, to see some great growth out here. Why do we see great go growth coming? Barstow Community College continues to expand. The Bureau of Land Management building was just recently sold and we hope to see some internal expansion within that. Raising Canes has come here and, and is setting all kinds of records. There's a brand new Super Walmart that Stan Rothbard built in the last four years that we believe is, is doing somewhere around $80 million a year. Um, Dutch Brothers has just opened up. Brand new Kentucky Fried Chicken. Be a total redo of, of one of the probably the biggest Burger King facilities I've ever seen and it being a split deal between Burger King and Starbucks. The Marine Corps Logistics Base, you know, 5,000 plus acres out here on Interstate 15, employs over 1,200 civilian people a year as a West Coast uh, facility for the Marine Corps. And just 35 miles north of us, or actually in the west of us, is a 735,000 acre facility, Fort Irwin, a national training facility. Uh, on any given day when they have all the rotations in and they're training and all the private contractors out there, you have about 27,000 people on out there. So you've, you've got a base that has over 8 million square feet of, of space, uh, 735,000 acres like I talked about, and they're continuing to expand. Lastly and most importantly is I think the most important ingredient for Barstow. Barstow is a transportation hub. Burlington Northern Santa Fe. Not only the largest employer within the city limits of Barstow, but a great employer and an employer that pays well for all their employees. They're going to continue to expand. 
Uh, they purchased back in December, I believe it was December of 2019, from Robert Yu and his his daughter. Uh, 1,100 plus or minus, I think it was 1,123 acres uh, for nearly 12 million in cash. Uh, I was proud to represent Walmart through the Jones Lang LaSalle industrial team out of out of New Jersey. Uh, 143 acres that Walmart owned that was fully entitled for a million square foot uh, distribution facility. We sold that also to Burlington Northern. And with the help of Francisco Diaz in our office, our vice president, he tracks all the deeds that they record on a monthly basis. So the amount of property that BNSF is purchasing between the between Main Street or National Trails Highway and the Limwood Road interchange, south to Hinkley Road between the railroad tracks and, and that road, uh, they've, they've well accumulated over a thousand acres. So we believe that, that sooner than later, and with the addition of the $27 million intermodal, interim intermodal that BNSF built, that it's only a matter of time before we see the type of development out here. So in closing, I, I welcome you to call me at any time relative to the shops and Spanish trails. If it's not about Spanish trails, and I can help you just make a decision on your future uh, development opportunities out, out here in Barso, be glad to. We work very close with the city council. We're very close with city staff. You got a very proactive community on out here, and you have one that really does want to see development in a state that makes it very hard to, to see development. So again, my name is Joseph Brady. I'm proud to be the president of the Bradco Companies, I'm also publisher of the Bradco Ideas Report. I'm also a, I'm proud to be a trustee at Victor Valley Community College, and lastly, the managing member of Barso Spanish Trails LLC. Feel free to call me and my good friend Terry Kirch is out here today. We'll be glad to put my phone number up in my email. Other than that, God bless you and God bless America. Interviews with Joseph W. Brady are published regularly online. Search Joseph W. Brady, Terry Kurtz, YouTube. Joseph W. Brady may be reached at jbrady at thebradcocompanies.com. Thank you for watching.